Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a new model for image generation named Flux One Dev SRPO, which goes for semantic relative preference optimization. This model allows you to create better portrait image and give you better skins details compared to Flux One Dev and Flux Tria Nunchaku. It is based on new training method, which uh, understand more the prompt uh, included for the image generation. And today I will show you how you can download the necessary model and uh, how you can optimize your workflow in order to get a uh, better image in short amount of time without using any excessive VRAM. So without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. Okay, if you head over to their uh, Hugging Face uh, link, you can clearly see a new abstract about this model that will give you information and put the context on. So when we were using the Flux One Dev or the Flux Crea, we were relying on multi-step denoising which means that we need to use a multiple uh, key sampler steps in order to get uh, good and decent results and which we saw earlier in uh, my previous tutorial about Flux Crayon and Shaco. and the second problem is the they often need the continuous adaptation or uh, add some LoRa in order to get the, the desired aesthetic quality so to address the limitation of this multi-step denoising uh, process the group behind the Flux uh, SRPU tried a new technique based on semantics uh, which allows you to understand more uh, properly the prompt used in order to create your image so the first step that you need is to download the necessary model you can use this uh, hugging face link and you can clearly see that we have the bf16 on the release uh, there was uh, two versions the bf16 and the fp8 however the fp8 version gives bad results for everyone so I strongly suggest you to use this BF16 version. Once it is downloaded, just go to your Comfy UI root folder, under model, search for the Fusion model, and place your file here. After that, the Flux1 SRPU LoRa also came out, and you can use this link in order to see that there are different models, starting with SRPU8, uh, 32, 64, 128, and 256 so for my case i test out the 64 and the 128 version i did not test the other version since uh, they are uh, consuming a lot of vram and the generation time was also increased so you can clearly use the 64 version for your uh, image generation you can also see that we have the base official model fp16 the rocker bow model and the air and q model since we are using this rocker bow uh, FB, BF16 version. So I downloaded this uh, Rocker Boo version 2 for both the uh, 64 and 128. Once it is downloaded, just go to your model, search for LoRa folder, and place your version here. If you scroll up, you can also see that there is a Nunchaku file, and here we have all the necessary LoRa models for the Nunchaku. I tried to play with this uh, LoRa, but it did not give me the same results. So I don't uh, suggest you to download this model for now. Maybe we will use that once the Chaco version of the SRPO will come out. Okay, once you have everything, make sure to update your Comfy UI and restart. Once it's open up, you can drop uh, my workflow here and you will have this custom workflow that will compare between the Flux Crayon and Chaco and also uh, this Flux SRPO model. Once you have every necessary model, you are good to go. So to test out this uh, Flux SRPU model, I focused on portrait image generation and uh, try to compare it with the Flux Crayon Hushabu. And the second step is the generated image with the desired style or targeted style. And to do that, we have uh, this style selector here. So we will first start with this image generation. And to do that, I used the series of 10 prompts that, that was provided by Shad GPT. I asked directly for a portrait prompt that, uh, in order to test out this Flux SRPO model. And it gave me this series of 10 prompts. You can also use this prompt generation group when you uh, will convert the image into text prompt and apply the, the desired style. But before that, let me show you how this workflow is composed of. It is a very uh, simple uh, Flux uh, workflow. So here we have the models, uh, starting with the diffusion model. Make sure to select your Flux SRPU. The weight type, just select the FP8 E4 fast version. You can also go for the E5. Then here we have the LoRa model only. 
I add this SRPO64 base uh, model in order to get uh, better results. But I also add the TurboFlux LoRa since it is a flux model. So I went out and test uh, if uh, it is uh, compatible with the flux turbo LoRa. Okay, for the dual clip, we have this uh, T5XXL and the clip L. It's a classic uh, dual clip loader. And we have the flux VAE and sd3 empty latent image all the image that i generated is with this resolution the second group is the text encoding we have here this model sampling flux with those parameters and we have the clip text encode positive prompt only we don't have the negative prompt since we are using a sampler custom advanced uh, sampler and here uh, you can see that i have also added this get prompt in order for you to use the prompt generator all you have to do is use uh, this one and plug it here but if you want to use your uh, own prompt you can directly unplug this git prompt and you use the text here okay the other group is the sample group where we have the basic guider composed of uh, the model and the conditioning uh, coming from this uh, flux guidance we have our ba basic scheduler as you can see here i'm setting the step to eight it is uh, uh, by default set to 30 uh, with the regular model however using this combination i managed to reduce the steps to 8 and that's one of the downside of this srpo model it uh, needs a uh, high steps value in order to create one image the random noise is set to fix the sampler i am using a euler and for the scheduler we are using the beta version okay Everything will be plugged here in order to create or, or generate our image. Then the VAE decode is gonna save our image. Okay. The other group is the Flux Crea Nunchaku. So if you are, uh, if you don't uh, ever work with Nunchaku version of Flux, it is uh, a better uh, optimized version of the models and it allows it to generate the model with good quality in a short amount of time and it is the fastest uh, way to use an image generating the model i also try to combine this with the flux lora i add turbo flux lora and the rocker bo uh, srpo uh, lora model however here we have the positive and the negative uh, prompt we are using a simple key sampler the steps is also set to 8 and the sampler and the scheduler are set to euler and sample Good. You can also see here that I add this get prompt in order uh, to use the generated prompt for the prompt gen group. And finally, we have the results here. I set uh, to save image, and the third one is based on this image compare notes that you can use for uh, your results in order to compare a different model. Okay, and here we have the results of our generated images using the temp prompt provided by ChatGPT. On the left, you can observe the image created by, by Flux SRPO. And on the right, you can see the Flux Korea Nunchaku version of uh, the same prompt. Uh, so you can clearly uh, see the difference between the two models. Uh, it is uh, very obvious that Flux SRPO has a better quality in terms of uh, quality image. And also the skin details. Uh, the obtained image are generated at uh, 1024 by 1024 resolution. However, the details uh, are still uh, very impressive and stunning compared to this flux nunchaku where you can observe the plastic skins and uh, we have this freckless problem that is always here the same goes for this lady over here you can clearly see the difference between the flux korea nunchaku and the flux srpo where we have here important skin details compared to this one where the woman face looks so plastic another example here where we have uh, in addition to skin details we have some uh, texture uh, details too that are very impressive and for the flux uh, nunchaku korea the quality uh, is uh, acceptable but we still have the this plastic skins look and the same goes for the other example too as you can see we have uh, the flux srpo gives always uh, the better generation in terms of quality skin details texture and lighting too as for the style change, we use the style selector with the auto prompt in order to create images of a young man sitting on the wall. The first style that we did is the anime style. The Flux SRPO managed to create this style uh, perfectly and the same goes for the Flux Korean Nunchaku. However, when I did other style like the comic book, 
the Neo Punk and uh, the pixel art style, the Flux SRPO uh, failed to create, uh, to duplicate this style for me. So we can say that uh, it, it is a major drawback for uh, this uh, model. It can replicate, uh, it can replicate uh, the realistic uh, image portrait at the perfection. However, for style changing, you have to use other models like the Flux Crean and Shaku. So it is one of the other major drawback of this model. As for the generated time, the Flux Nunchaku was obviously faster compared to SRPO. However, I am still confident that we will have a Nunchaku version of this model that will be more faster and will have less drawback. In addition to that, I tried generating images at uh, full HD resolution and the model successfully created those images. I did not test the model for uh, any other style of images like landscapes or uh, other uh, nature scenes however for now it seems very well uh, for creating portrait image and uh, realistic skin details compared to all previous model that we saw for flux and the best thing is that you can run it in low vram using this combination of the turbo flux lora uh, and the srpo lora model also if you are looking for portrait image generation i strongly suggest you to use this model with this combination and the workflow it will uh, help you to create uh, your images in short amount of time and with good quality you can also try to upscale it if you want or use directly the high resolution included in onto this mtsd3 latent here okay that's it for today's tutorial if you like this video please push the like button for me subscribe to my channel also uh, watch my other video tutorial about comfy ui and don't forget to become a patreon member of my patreon page where you can get early access to my workflow and get additional help if you need it. So thank you.